for that and folks so we had storm dudley <laughs> sorry about that yeah we had storm dudley wednesday so i, I came up and I, I moved a few bits and bobs around and put the now feed on top of there so that was flapping open window ground up in lid so the others are all right it was just that one um moved some of the rabbit manure i've got probably a quarter of a bag left i could drag that across and do it when i do it so yeah it's in this middle bay now I tidied all this out uh, some mice had been having my peas and my pod peas down here and there were a load of when i cleared it out to put the manure in there was a load of um, pea shells empty pea shells so some have been uh, nibbling them in there i wonder i didn't get many so yeah, uh, so the rabbit moon's gone in there um, and it was 40 degrees. When I emptied the bigger bag of the two, it was hot in the middle, so out of curiosity, my neighbor uh, had put a thermometer in it, a compost thermometer, and it went straight up to 40. So I thought that was quite good. Uh, these cabbages are looking quite healthy for a, for a drink. Uh, then it'll feed on them a bit back. Uh, probably a couple of weeks, I think it is. So now they're doing all right. Uh, there's been a bit of damage to the plots. As you can see, this uh, in the far corner that I showed you before, that's the flat pack now. The only thing that's under there is the things that it's got in there that's holding that sh shelter up. It's got a couple of potting benches and stuff. So that's uh, kaput. So yeah, I've just come up and I keep the green houses closed anyway. So I come up and I moved a few bits around. Pallet collars, a few extra bags of compost. I moved the weight on, on here, on the gutters, just to spread it a bit more even so they don't blow away. And it's uh, doing all right so far. So I'm keeping half of the strawberry bed and I've been moving a few plants about and weeding, weeding while we're going. I've just got extra bags of compost and bits and bobs everywhere. So that greenhouse is gone, unfortunately. Sorry about this wind, I'm just trying to show you. Uh, the lady's got a panel out on that greenhouse. Two sheets have gone off of, off of there. Two big blue sheets, and I noticed one. It's just over there. I'll grab that in a second. And uh, we had to repair two poles in this poly from yesterday. Yeah, two poles on the back side. But the wind's just blowing through with them vents. So it's rocking it and obviously it's weakened it and it's snapped the poles. So it needs to order a couple of poles. So yeah, like I say, the two big blue sheets that were covering the side on the chickens they've gone. And that one's uh, not looking clever. But yeah, it's causing some damage, and today's meant to be a lot worse than what it was Wednesday. It's uh, Eunice today, I think it is. Storm Eunice. Yeah, hopefully, it looks like everything's looking all right. And uh, some of the damage, it's just horrible. So I'm one of the lucky ones I'm heading on. So, but I do feel sorry for those that have. So anyway, folks, uh, that's it for now. Uh, I'm, in fact, I'll here show where the plants under the lights when I get home. Uh, so I'll leave it here a minute and we'll see you up there. All right, and folks, uh, so these are what's under the lights. I've got some four inch waste pipe. So I made three, I made four actually, but I made three with that. And uh, what I've done, I've done a bit, a bit of something different in each one. Um, I've got two carrots there, two, well, two carrots there, two carrots there, two big parsnips and the big ones. And then these ones we've got a parsnip, carrot, and another carrot. This um, this carrot is from Giant Veg. The uh, yeah, from Giant Veg. Not okay, good, UK. And everything I've potted on here has uh, been coated in this. It's just mycorrhizal fungi. So, it's not bad. 
just been pouring a bit in normally it roots around so yeah the carrots are up these are the flacky carrots there's four in that one there's three in that one i think there's four in that one there's two in that one i put four seeds in each pick the biggest out i'll tip the load out in my hand and pick the biggest seeds out and uh, like I say, they were sown on the 10th, uh, 18th, so uh, 8th. And it's now, I just looked and I'm sure it was 18th. Yeah, Friday 18th. So, yeah, they've been in 10 days. And they're up. Like I say, no sign on the parsnip yet. That's a different carrot. These have been done differently. So this parsnip's got some chicken manure pellets in and blood fish and bone. This has got the same chicken manure pellets, blood fish and bone. This has just got blood fish and bone just to see if they're different and when i say they've got chicken manure pellets in and that what they've got is a bit at the bottom i haven't put anything at the top i've just put a bit little little handful at the bottom before i filled them up to rest away so we'll see uh beetroot there from ian neil seed got a few of them they're not looking very clever and um, the next one is the big things of the kohlrabis a couple of cabbages left they're not very healthy the uh, chilies looking all right they're going up growing up nicely look some more kohlrabi and these are terry's meat roots so i've got a couple of those as well and they'd be very good with those for some reason i should have probably chittered them first but oh well we'll see so yeah that's uh where i'm going here at the minute Took over the room, nobody can use the toilet now, so. <laughs> but what I do, I'll move them up in the day. So yeah. Got some carrots germinated in there, let's say they 10 days, they've been in. So I look at thinning them out and leaving them down to one. And that one does look a nice one in there, don't it? Compared to the others. So yeah, it's just a matter of selection, let them grow a bit longer, a few more days. Have a look at pricking them out. Maybe when they get a bit bigger, to be honest. Probably will do it. I'll just leave them now. Uh, bottom more in, I think I'm watering a bit much. So every other day I just pour a bit in the bottom now. And just keep checking the roots, make sure all the pots are, are all right. So yeah, cheers folks. And uh, stay safe during these storms. It's windy as hell out there, I can hear it. So uh, be safe and uh, hopefully you don't get too much damage. Cheers, folks.